Yugi, prove that you're worthy of your reputation and take down his Egyptian god card. Unless you don't have what it takes. Maybe your Duelist Kingdom Championship victory was just a fluke. I will defeat him, Kaiba. I assure you. Marek, it's over! Ha! My Egyptian god card is unstoppable! Ah! And you're my next victim, Kaiba! <laughs> Once Slifer the Sky Dragon annihilates Yugi, I'm coming after your Egyptian god card! Save your breath. Your empty threats don't scare me. They will in time, fool! This duel isn't over yet, Marek! I've got to figure out a way to defeat his Egyptian god card! But it has 10,000 attack points. None of my monsters even come close to that. Plus, it grows stronger with every card he draws. But it must have some weakness, and I'll find it. I draw. Hmm. Monster Reborn could come in handy. I place one card face down. And I summon Big Shield Gardner in defense mode. Don't tell me you've forgotten that by summoning a monster, you activate my dragon's special ability. Let me remind you, by blasting your monster! This surge of energy from my dragon's second mouth will drain your big shield Gardna of 2,000 defense points! Yuki won't last much longer! He better last long enough for me to learn Slifer the Sky Dragon's weakness so I can defeat it later and add it to my collection. How's he gonna do that? That dragon's power keeps growing. Wait, check it out. Yugi's monster survived the attack. Barely. Your big shield has been cut down to size, and my Egyptian god card will continue to automatically devastate your monsters as soon as they're summoned to the field. <laughs> Just one more attack and your only defense will be demolished, leaving nothing in between you and Slifer. Where's your faith in the cards now, Pharaoh? Now observe while I draw! And as you know, Slifer gets 1,000 attack points for every card in my hand. I count 11, giving my dragon 11,000 attack points! <laughs> wow! 11,000 points! That's already more than three times the attack strength of your Blue Eyes White Dragon, Seto! And it'll only get stronger. Yugi's opponent has infinite cards in play, allowing him to hold as many cards as he wants. Oh, and the more cards in his hand, the more attack points his dragon has. That means there's no limit to how strong his Egyptian God card can grow. Or is there? Wait! Slifer's power depends on how many cards the player has in his entire deck. Mm, that's it! Mm. Slifer the Sky Dragon has one fatal flaw. Now let's see if Yugi is duelist enough to figure it out. Now my Sky Dragon attack! Eradicate his shield! The only thing that stands in the way of his destruction! Soon that puzzle and the world will be mine! I know exactly how to defeat this Egyptian god card, but let's see if you be smart enough to figure it out. You're completely defenseless, Sparrow. The next time my Sky Dragon attacks, you'll be finished. It's undefeatable, you fool! I can't let Merrick win my puzzle, but I've never faced anything so powerful. And the more cards he draws, the stronger it gets. <sighs> yes, and that's how I'll defeat it. I will make Slifer destroy itself. About time. What's he mean? What makes you think you can? Ah, it's a simple matter of common sense. If all of my monsters are too weak, then I must use your monster to destroy itself. Haven't you realized yet that an Egyptian god card cannot be controlled? It's much too powerful, Pharaoh. We'll see. Perhaps you don't have as much knowledge about the Egyptian god cards as you think you do. How dare you challenge my wisdom of the ancient ways? I know all! We'll find out how much you know soon enough, Merrick. I'd like to see you try to turn Slifer against me. What's Yugi talking about? I mean, sure, he's a great duelist, but how can he make that Egyptian god card destroy itself? That dragon seems way too strong to control. Sounds crazy to me. What's going on? It's quite simple, Mokuba. The dragon's greatest strength is also its greatest weakness. Seto, I still don't get what's going on. Time for you to make your move. I promise it will be your last. 
Is that so? We'll see, Merrick. If I don't draw the right card now, his Sky Dragon will crush me. But I know the heart of the cards will guide me. Now! What is it? Just what I need to take you down. Looks like Yugi got his card. Mm, but that's only half the battle. This strategy requires perfect timing. It's not over yet. Time to lose. I reveal my face down card. Monster reborn. What good will that do? This magic card allows me to bring back one monster from the graveyard. And I choose to resurrect my mighty Buster Blader! Return! What? My dragon's already destroyed that monster once! Plus, summoning it to defend your life points will only delay your ultimate defeat! It's not defending. Take a closer look, Merrick! Buster Blader has been summoned in attack mode! <laughs> What a thoughtless move. With his Buster Blader in attack mode, my Dragon's Blast will not only annihilate his monster, it'll wipe out the rest of his life points. Winning his Millennium Puzzle was a simpler task than I thought. I know I can't win by just defending my points. That's why I'm risking this entire duel on one final sword attack by Buster Blader. You're more of a fool than I thought. <laughs> You've left yourself wide open for my Egyptian God card to defeat you. Have you forgotten about my five card combination that makes Slifer the Sky Dragon completely indestructible? Perhaps you need a reminder, Pharaoh. First, my card of safe return allows me to draw three cards whenever a monster is revived. Since you resurrected Buster Blader, I can now draw three more cards from my deck to increase the number of cards in my hand. Yes, and the more cards you hold, the stronger your dragon becomes. Right! So Slifer gains 3,000 additional attack points, giving it a total of 14,000 attack points! <laughs> 14,000 attack points? That's nuts! And then... You forgot that bringing Buster Blader back from the graveyard activates Slifer's second mouth! Blasting 2,000 attack points away from your monster! Buster Blader's strong enough to survive your attack! This is the beginning of the end for you, Pharaoh! My Egyptian God card has weakened your monster into the pathetic mess barely standing before you! My next attack will finish you off forever! Your Buster Blader may have survived that blast, but it's still no match for my Egyptian God card. Your reign as Pharaoh is almost over, so prepare to surrender your puzzle. In my next turn, your monster and your life points will be completely wiped out. I'm afraid that there isn't going to be a next turn for you. Once Buster Blader attacks your Egyptian God card, you'll be defeated, Merrick. Now watch as my plan to slay your so-called indestructible dragon begins! <sighs> Has Yugi lost it? His Buster Blader won't even scratch Slifer the Sky Dragon! If Yugi's plan works, my suspicions about how to defeat Slifer will be confirmed. Time for me to win this duel right now! I'm ready for your pathetic attack! This is it! Someone's about to lose this duel! Buster Blader, attack Slifer the Sky Dragon with your powerful blade! Watching your puny warrior try to take down my unstoppable Egyptian God card is actually quite amusing! Have you forgotten that my Sky Dragon is protected by my ultimate defender, the shape-shifting Revival Jam? Your attack's been blocked, and my Revival Jam will reform itself now. After that, I can draw yet another three cards, and Slifer's power will grow even greater! Preparing itself to destroy you once and for all with a force more intense than anything you've ever seen! I'm afraid that it's still my turn, but before I make my next move, I need Revival Jam to revive. Observe. And now the stage is set for this card. Magic card, Brain Control! Now I'll control your monster! I think I get you.
Yuki's plan. He must want to use brain control to take over the dragon's mind, but I still think Slifer's way too strong to be controlled. <laughs> it's not quite that simple. Sorry, Yami. I'm afraid all magic cards are completely ineffective against Egyptian god monsters. And now you'll pay the price for making such a foolish mistake. Don't be so sure. Who told you I was after your dragon? You're not? No, Merrick. There's another monster on your field I'm after. And I'll control him. My brain control card will seize your revival jam. What can you possibly do with my revival jam card? It can't hurt my dragon, so it's of no use to you. You still don't get it. Since Revival Jam reformed, draw your three new cards, Merrick. I will, which raises my Egyptian God card another 3,000 attack points. With every card I draw, my monster will get even stronger. One, two, three. That brings Slifer's attack points to 17,000. And now, Pharaoh, the time for me to destroy you has finally arrived. Slifer, wipe out his Buster Blader and his life points. Hold on, Merrick. Your Sky Dragon's special ability means its second mouth has to attack any new monster that appears on my side of the field. Ugh. That means before you can destroy me, your monster must attack my revival trash. <laughs> You know what happens now. Revival Jam revives itself again. And each time a monster regenerates, you have to draw three more cards from your dueling deck. This can't be. Whenever Revival Jam reappears on the field, my dragon automatically attacks it. And since Yami controls Revival Jam, it will revive itself on his side of the field which makes me draw three new cards. Then my dragon will attack again. Each event triggers the next in a never-ending cycle. First attack, then regenerate, then draw. My Egyptian god card will continue to grow stronger with each cycle as I draw more cards. But it doesn't matter because I'm trapped. Ugh. Ah! There's no way out! That's right, Merrick. Once you run out of cards to draw, you will automatically lose this duel. No! This can't be happening! As powerful as your Egyptian god card is, no monster is without weakness, and the Sky Dragon's flaw lies within its special ability. Its second mouth attack! I have no control over my Egyptian god monster! As long as Yami's brain control is in effect, my dragon will keep attacking Revival Jam, and my Mind Slave will keep drawing cards until... No! I turned your dragon against you, causing you to use up all the cards in your dueling deck. No! Ugh. That means I win. It's over! Uh, it can't be! How could I lose with an Egyptian god card in my deck? You'll pay, Yami. You may have defeated Slifer, but I hold another Egyptian god card, a much more powerful one. So savor this victory while you can, for it will be your last.